Congratulations to the winning university. You've come so far since the beginning of this competition and now you can proudly call yourselves the winners of University Powerhouse 2013. How are you feeling, Captain? Ecstatic. Jay? Cool. Tim? And Abby, you got the best ever score on the academic showdown in the entire history of the programme. Feel good? Just being in this team has been an amazing experience. And our spirit has won us this competition. You've been watching University Powerhouse, the show that pitches the university challenges of academia alongside the Olympian challenges of the elite obstacle course, the motor skills of the brilliant computer gamer alongside the madcap student stand-up. There has been blood, sweat and tears, but in the end there's only one university left standing, the University of Westminster. They have shown their physical power, puzzle power, and giggle power. See you next year for another edition of University Powerhouse! Name the three sites of Sigmund Freud expounded. Id, ego, and superego. Name the three main visual aspects of an expressionist movie. Uh, buildings of sharp angles, uh, great heights, and uh, crowded environments. Name the music composer of Hitchcock's 1960 film Psycho. Bernard Herrmann. Under which empire were the Aegean Sophia constructed? Constant scene in the 6th century. What the name of the character that Uber Thurman played in Kill Bill? The Black. <coughs> Wrong. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> What else did you have, Brainbox? Beatrix Kiddo. Well, you were wrong. It is the bride. Wow, well, Google tells me that it's Beatrix Kiddo, and you, Missy, are more smarter than Google. Well, you can show me Google where the sun doesn't shine. For God's sake. Speaking of Freud, I don't think this room's big enough for the lot of us. You and your own size deep Oh, that's funny. Maybe Jake can use that dagger and gate tonight. Sorry? I was just going to tell jokes about you. People always seem to find them. I won the Nationals last year. We might not even get the nomination. Oh, hey, calm the fuck down. Alex, what volume? What do you mean by we? All right, George, whatever. It's volume one. Tom? Well, you're wrong. In volume one, she was referred to as the bride. In volume two, it was later revealed that she was Beatrix Kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lauren, I'm truly impressed by your progress over the last few weeks. These things take time. Being the victim of a psychological abuse won't be fixed overnight. Keep your head up. If you say so. Same time next week? Hey, Zig. All right, what's happening? Drama, 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 the usual. That's my department. King Lear? Blow winds and crack your cheeks. Do you think Shakespeare was talking about farting? What? Well, wind is a fart, and the cheeks are your arse. You should be doing the stand-up, not me. I'm playing the full art, not game shows. 25,000 quid? For the department. Lauren's playing Cordelia. Oh, Ziggy. What? You're besotted. I'm just saying. Speak of the devil. Hey guys! Where have you been? We missed you in, uh, in class. Uh, I had an appointment. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you game showing? Are you patronising me? No, honestly, I just want... There's nothing wrong with doing this show. Girl, save the drama for the classroom. Look, the show's made people famous. Abby was in all the magazines last year. Yeah, and now she needs to buy bigger ass. Did you bring my phone? Shit, I forgot. You're useless. What you got? Cannabis psychosis? Look, I don't mix business with pleasure. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a gift for that girl. Shit. 
sure Abby would love that. Yeah, Joe did, mate. She had time for that. too busy studying for a black belt. Oh, kinky. <laughs> anyway, she's got today's project. Come on, another bird. So, you're coming out tonight then? Nope, sorry, got a date with Shakespeare. Got all over stuff. Hi. Hey. Wondered where you went. Already? Oh. No reason. <coughs> um, you know, I was just wondering whether you went to go and rehearse somewhere. You know, it's a bit mad to come here. Actually, yeah, I can matter a coffee. See you later, guys. Ciao. Oh, next time I ask you to bring my phone, don't forget. What am I, an elephant? What you call a man with an elephant on his head? An idiot. An elephant on his head. Abby's going to go berserk. What? He came on to me last week. Ah, oh, well. Ziggy, you're a good friend. Let's keep it like that. Look, I didn't get a single question wrong last year. I know. You are first reserve, you know. I know Tom's better than me on Battlefield, but he can't touch us on Black Ops. <sighs> Alex, it is just a stupid, vacuous game show. I mean, you become a celebrity for like five minutes, and then you hear all over you trying to get a story. And kind of given what you told me, I thought that would be the last thing you wanted. I don't know why I did. Yeah, well, you did. If it's just a vacuous game show, why is it so important to you? You really want this? Yes, more than anything. Well then, you're gonna have to prove it. Sorry guys, got my notes. Gotta go. How long's that been going on for? What? You know what? Nothing is going on. Fuck off. You're not going to be on the team. She wants to win. She wants the best. She wants me. No, it's just Kim Stevens that can't make it uh, tonight. She's uh, judging in the Mickey Mouse University Powerhouse thing. Yes, the inter-school event. It's a pain, I know. But they have to have a judge from each school. Oh, no, 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 it's not fixed. <laughs> they can't vote for their own school. They have to sit that one out. As long as it doesn't fall on my shoulders. You know, I don't like it, but it brings in the department money. Then I'll put up with it. I'll see you later. Bloody music department. <laughs> Ziggy. Hey, Ziggs. <laughs> so when did you start reading? Don't read? Yes, indeed. That was make it good for Okay. <laughs> what are you on now? <laughs> Tonight I'm going to be on stage and before Jack is trying to make me. I might as well be naked. Oh, yes, please. Go back to your drugs, amp head. Not that fun, those cat shaped body shakes in there. This, my good friend, is hours of hard work. I don't need no gym candy. To be fair, George, all you have to do is run around playing with the girls. It's actually Britain's most intense agility course. Please. I've probably done tougher obstacle courses doing sports today. I got through that, didn't I? Yeah? Out of four schools, I came first. <laughs> Alright. We have lost the um, gamer challenge. No. As long as you're happy to screw, we're through. Abby never screws me. Me on the other phone. What? You have to make people laugh, it's not that easy. I don't know. How many stands up does it take to change a light bulb? None. It's not fun. <laughs> Good one, babe. Oh, hey. Hey. So, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No, of course not. So what have you two been up to then? Uh, I was just running some of my material by Josh. Well, why do you need George for that? We're on the same team. Hey, can I have a word? Just having a bad day. I just can't 
shoes. I suck. People are going to be watching me and I'm going to slip up somewhere. You're going to be fine. You'll knock them dead. No, we just can't do this. The material is shit. Look, I've heard the competition and I've got no chance. It makes no sense why Abby chose me. And she just picks Ziggy. Because Ziggy's not interested. You're good, Jade. You are funny. You'll be absolutely fine, I promise you. Trust me, you'll be fine. It's the judges who decide who wins. There's no way I can do that, even if I wanted to. You know this. If Jade isn't good enough, there's nothing I can do about it. If you have friends on the panel, use your influence. It's inappropriate to be pulling such stunts. Oh. You're asking me to cheat. Well, you've got experience with the inappropriate, haven't you? The past is the past. Don't you think I've paid my dues? You wouldn't be standing here in this university if it wasn't for me. This isn't a request! Alex, you're not listening to me! I couldn't do it if I wanted to! You know what? I've never said anything to anyone before. But what if I did? You know what? Do your worst. I'm not bothered anymore. I'm just wondering about I'll talk to you later. He's asking you to influence the judges. Yes. I'm not saying anything will happen. But? It's complicated. Why? Do you remember I petitioned you to make a special case? He didn't do a good interview, but you said he had hidden potential. Yeah, and if he got the A-levels, we should admit him. You asked me to pull rank. Big deal. Who's going to remember? It was years ago. Yes, well, what I didn't tell you was the whole story. Talking about things, how do you actually make me laugh? Well, the same way you make all the lads around here laugh. You can stick your hand down its pockets and tickle its balls. Jay! Jay! chance of beating the others, then you're going to have to come up with some new gags and, hmm, oh, three hours. Right now, we'd be lucky to be there in four course. Yeah, you're right, three hours. I need some help and some encouragement. Why are you biting my head off every time? Well, time? I need talent. I can't afford to carry you. You're saying I've got no talent? I'm saying that if you spend a little more time working and a little less time flirting with my boyfriend, fuck you. Where are you going? Let's hope you find some jokes in there. A bit more encouraging. She's under pressure too, you know. I need this. Jane is the weakest link. Do you think maybe you're letting personal feelings get in the way? Screw you. Screw the lot of you. between us and fashion. And fashion won't take the quiz, I've got that sewn up, but it might take the stand up. How many of those have you had? Just this one and I'm set, Miss Butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. You're pretty driven, aren't you? That speaks to martial artist. That's about confidence. You think I'm hard. Cordelia has this line in King Lear. No blown ambition doth our arms incite, but love Dear love, and our aged father's right. Don't quote me on Lear. What is your point, anyway? She's building an army in France. Not for power, but love. Because love is greater than power. Well, excuse me while I gag on my gorgonzola. Look, my parents sacrificed everything for me. I just need to pay them back. You think I'm being too mean? get the best out of some people by encouraging them. Jade falls into that bracket. I need the best, Lauren, and that isn't Jade anymore. And doesn't she know it? In martial arts, they say a tree that is unbending is easily broken. Nobody remembers who came in second, Lauren. You're so frightened of losing, Abby. It's scary.
really sorry. I just... I really want to win this. Please come out. Look, I'm really, really sorry. I just... I've done this all wrong. I... I am stupid and I, I'm jealous and I'm obsessive and... Please, let's kiss and make up, Jade, please. Ooh, jealous, stupid, obsessive. All the qualities I love. Kiss and make up. Are you coming on to me? <sighs> What's up? I can't find Jade anywhere. Has something happened? No, nothing's happened. I just need to find her. Leave it with me. Jade will listen to me. Thou should not have been old till thou hadst been wise. Oh, for God's sake. She's not answering. Can't you take a hint? Hello? Well, of course it's not my phone. Jade's not here. No, Abby. Jade's not here. You're in demand. That was Abby. Abby Chambers is a complete snobby, uptight, no one, sick, delusional, twisted, power happy minion. She's a bully. I've been bending over backwards trying to get this right for her, and she has the nerve to try and make me look the fool. I'm the fool. Who am I kidding? My material's terrible. Why didn't you do it so you much better than me? I'm uh, busy midget tossing that day, so. No, seriously. Because, my dear, it's not about the internet, it's about the fame. And it is a load of utter and complete bullshit that interests me in no possible way. Comprende? She's right. I'm a complete waste of space. I can take the edge off, you know. What have you got? Happy dust. Makes all your worries fly away. I thought you were at the house. Are you my brother and my keeper? What is it with you two? Just business. Alex, don't you ever have work to do? If you need something, you know where my office is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, Zig, I need help finding Jade. She's at the house. Abby just said that you said she weren't. And then she was. So you're not coming then? Sorry, man, I'm gonna go pick something up. I'm helping him with his Shakespeare. You might be playing the fool in King Lear. In real life, you are such a fucking arsehole. Maybe I can play that too. If we don't have anyone to do stand-up, then we can't win. I know Where is she? How the hell do I know? Alex, Well, I asked him to help, yeah. Shh, look at her, he'd do anything for you. What? That little weasel's been trying to get my place on the team. I'm far better than Battlefield of the yeah. Tears. And you're still going to pick him over me. Oh. For whatever reason. Oh, I am. Pardon? You know all the little things he does, helping out with the quiz? 
And to top it off, he's got a thing for you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you talking about, man? Oh, he's talking out of his ass. You're gonna pick him over me, aren't you? Oh, hell no. Come again. I bought you here. You were the one who frightened her off in the first place. I want to make it up. I'm trying to be nice. <sighs> Bonjour, Alejandro. Jed, Jed, where the bloody hell are you? Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. Cause I only have eyes for you. Where are we going? Stargazing. What? One night the three of us got rare hammered, ended up on a field all night looking up at the stars singing I've only got eyes for you. show started. Jade, I'm so sorry. No, no, the wicked witch. Oh, I'm trying to be nice. What the hell are you on, Jade? Oh, would you look at that? I've, um, I've got more tickets for your friends, so they can come too. Oh, dandy. But I don't want to go. No, that evil bitch. Well, we can't let them go on their own, can we? We've got to go catch them all. Only with you, Alex. Only with you. Get thee behind me, Satan. I'm going with my knight in shining armor. See? I'm never gonna make it anyway. And it doesn't matter. She's stoned out of her head. Where is she? Uh, another five minutes. You know, if she doesn't show, you lose by default to fashion. You know that. And now, better late than never, Jay Barker from the School of Art and Architecture. I am so stoned right now that if my granddad walked in, I'd offer him a blowjob. <laughs> Gramps, is that you? <laughs> My boyfriend says I'm getting old. I don't know what he's talking about. I've got the body of a 16-year-old schoolgirl. <laughs> Keep it in the freezer. They call her Moji. <laughs> I don't know why people think women are such bad drivers. I mean, my ex boyfriend used to tell me all the time, but I managed to drive over alright. <laughs> Funnily enough, I was staying that night too. I mean, now I'm not condoning driving over the influence. It's very wrong. It isn't me anyway. I don't have a license. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of grandparents, I give my grand grandmother a guide dog named Sid. Won't take her anywhere. <laughs> I'm on the team now, yeah? <laughs> She's a riot, you know? <laughs> Tell me I'm on the team. I got her here for you. <laughs> 